Good morning everyone, my name is Mark. I am the Business Website Director at Healy Consultants Group in Singapore. I have with me uh, on the video today, Praveen Pampan. He is the Senior Client Engagements Manager also in our Singapore office. Morning Praveen. Morning Mark, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Great. Praveen, this morning I think we're gonna be talking briefly about an engagement you have just completed uh, relating to the drafting of employment contracts for staff in Singapore and Indonesia. Will you just give us a, a little bit of a rundown as to how that happened? Okay, sure. So uh, we had a client that uh, was uh, planning to employ uh, one of their staff uh, for their Singapore and uh, Indonesia entity. So they require assistance to draft uh, employment contracts for both uh, Singapore and Indonesia. Um, so uh, what we did was uh, we worked on both employment contracts simultaneously. Uh, Singapore and Indonesia and we uh, drafted the employment contract in accordance with uh, the local labor laws in both Singapore and Indonesia mm. um, and we worked together with the client to include any specific requirements that uh, they wanted to be included in the contract as per the, uh, their uh, employees uh, appointment uh, position and what would be their exact uh, job description for the role that was that he was being appointed for. So what we did was we worked uh, concurrently with uh, both Singapore and Indonesia employment contracts and then we drafted it and we provided uh, our client the finalized uh, employment contracts uh, at the end of the engagement for the employee to sign off, uh, approve and sign off the contract. Okay, very good. Uh, any particular challenges? I mean, I, I know that we've discussed briefly that it was a fairly straightforward engagement, uh, particularly in Singapore. Any any particular challenges in Indonesia? I, I believe that there, there has to be a, uh, it's, it's a bilingual agreement. Correct. So uh, any, any other challenges there? Yeah, so for Singapore, it was fairly straightforward. Um, we just had to draft, uh, revert back to the client, include their requirements, and then uh, we got the employment contract fairly quickly signed off and approved. For Indonesia, I would say probably one of the challenges was that uh, Indonesia employment contract there is, uh, is bilingual as you mentioned. So uh, we would have to have one section of it in English, one of one section of it in Bahasa Melayu. Um, so um, what we did was we got the first draft sent to the client. Uh, they included their inputs, uh, some minor adjustments uh, along uh, along the, the engagement. Uh, and once it was approved uh, by the client, we had to get one more step completed, which was to get a stamp, uh, a localized uh, stamp from the Indonesia um, uh, stamp postal office uh, to include it on the signing off page of the employment contract, Indonesia employment contract. Uh, once that was done and the employee signed off uh, on the signing off page with the stamp included, then it's considered as uh, legally uh, signed off. So that was probably one of the uh, challenges with the Indonesia employment contract. There's just one more additional step uh, to, to complete before it's legally approved. Okay, Praveen, thank you very much for giving us a rundown this morning. No problem. Thanks, Mark. Okay, bye-bye.